what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you giving me your time. If you would, please consider using my code, Mr. Bulldozer Gaming. You can see it there on your center screen, and also in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. With that green checkmark right there, you can tell I'm an epic partner. Here, here we go, folks. We are at week number nine, and one thing I want to point out is you should be sitting on 180 artifacts if you have not picked up all your artifacts in the description you will find a link to a video that has every week in it okay weeks one through nine and in the, in the, the if you go to that video and in the description of that video you will find timestamps so if you take in um, if you're missing a certain week just go to that that week and hit on that timestamp and it will take you right to that week you're looking for here's the map that is covering week number nine and if you look at the map, you can see up there by MBG, by Craig Cliffs, that is our first one. To the left of Holly Hedges, I haven't found a map that yet that says Holly Hatchery. So to the left of Holly Hedges, we have one. To the left of Weeping Woods, we have one. To the right of Weeping Woods, we have one. And just north of Lazy Lake, we have our other one. Now we're going to want to start off at the Steamy Stacks because there is a spaceship there. Flying saucer, whatever you want to call it. Take a look at the brand new Umbrella release today, folks. Now, this is a, a special umbrella. This is not the concert umbrella. This is for Fortnite crew members only. You can only get your hands on this umbrella if you are a Fortnite crew member. Now, I guess I said it's not for the concert. It is for the concert, but it is a special umbrella that will only be issued to Fortnite crew members. When you go to the concert, there is still a, a concert umbrella that you will receive for going and attending the concert, but again, as soon as you load up the game today, if you're a Fortnite crew member, you will receive this. You will receive a loading screen as well as receive a banner. Now you go to again go to Steamy Stacks. We're gonna get in the helicopter, get in the helicopter, get in the flying saucer, and we're gonna take off. And I want to make a point. Check this out, folks. They've actually finally fixed the flying saucers. You can no longer go really high. That they've actually buffed the flying saucers too. If you notice, when I tr and I hold the trigger down right there, you just noticed it. I hold the trigger down, and I hit the boost. Instead of it boosting me up, it boosts me down. And if you pay attention, you're going to see that happen quite a few times. It doesn't even boost me forward. It boosts me down. And that's not me holding the left trigger. That's holding the right trigger, trying to boost forward, and it's boosting me down. So we got this little island right here that's in between Craig Cliffs and the lighthouse. And you got this little shed right here. We're going to blow this shed up. And right on top of this bunker door is going to be our first location. Also, if you haven't seen last week's video, in the upper right-hand corner, you see the artifact with that 9 in it. That means you're in week number 9, artifacts. In the lower right-hand corner, that means you're, in, you're looking at artifact number 1 in the video. That way you always know where you're at. I started doing that in week number 8. Again, make sure you watch this whole video because I guess some important information to point out to you that you may not be aware of and then if there's something you do not do by the end of the season you may be very unhappy come season 8 so make sure you watch this whole video now if you follow the route that we are taking we're headed over towards the yellow shed over by the, the Reaper's house the Reaper NPC was at the house it was at John Wick it was John Wick's house at once at the time go ahead and blow up this lighthouse if it's still standing and if there's any loot or anything here, go ahead and pick it up. Um, you know, if you've already got some weapons and stuff from, you know, blowing up the shed where the first artifact was, go ahead and take out uh, Guggenmon that's right here. You can see this other person here. You can take and use your beam and just knock this person off the hill like I just did. Wait for all this loot to fall down and go ahead and pick it up. Especially now, you can't go really high. Your, your spaceship is going to be low. You're very, very prone now to be shot at, which, you know, knock on wood, and you just heard me knock on wood, actually, I do not get shot at until the very last artifact, and actually, I end up getting eliminated after I get the second artifact. I don't even get a chance to put the map up. 
And I forget to pick the map up on the first artifact, but I do pick it up on the second artifact. So after we go to the lighthouse, you're going to fly over the shark. And again, we're headed towards the castle in that satellite area. And the, the John Wick slash Reaper's house is located next to this blown up castle. You can see right here to the left. And to the left of the castle, there is like some storage containers that came up on the shore. And to the left of that, there is like a crane that fell over. And that, that's where the house is. That's where the John Wick slash the Reaper's house is. And actually, you, you can barely see it right there to a distance. You can see the hill, that, the mound of, of the hillside, mound, whatever you want to call it, came up out of the water. That is the house we're going to. Actually, it's not really a house, it's a shed. But it's the yellow, it's the yellow shed that you want to blow up. Now, sometimes there will be a custom chest in there. If you go in the description, and I was talking about it, I think I mentioned it already. If not, I'll mention it again now. In the description, you will find a video that um, I put from week one up to week nine in the description. You go to that video, so whatever week you're looking for, you just click on that timestamp and you can go to that week. You can um, find what artifacts you're missing, you're looking for. In that video, when we go to this house, there's actually a legendary chest in here that says week seven. If you know what that what that means, let me know because that chest was in here long before week seven. And last season it was a uh, it was a legendary chest, but it didn't say week seven on it. So I'm kind of curious what that means. Right here is that chest, that artifact, and right here on this island right here is the first one. So now we're moving over to the left of the words Weeping Wood, Weeping Woods, and we have the Guardian Tower, and it, and it's right in front of the Guardian Tower. So I would really like to go a little higher than this, but I'm, I'm actually glad they finally fixed it because I really thought that was unfair. I did not like the fact that you can go really up high. A lot of people took advantage of that, and I'll be honest with you, you know, I used it from time to time because of the fact that it's one of those things that if you didn't use it, somebody would use it against you. And the thing is, when you go up so high, you can't deal no damage, but they can still shoot you, especially if you have a build or something built up, which I don't build, but other people do. They can damage your build, but you can't do no damage to them. You can't even see them. It was really unfair. So I'm really glad to see they fixed that. There's a lot of people was complaining about that. So you can see the little building right here. I don't even know what you would call this. But you can see the artifact right there. So it's kind of hard to, to, to get down and land on this one. So just take and land and go up here and jump up to get it. It'd save you a whole lot of time as opposed to trying to actually fly over it and get back in your spaceship and just take off. And right there to the right of us, let's say one o'clock, that's what we're heading to that satellite station. Right there, Weeping Woods is your third one. Now we're moving over to our fourth one. Again, straight ahead, you got the satellite station. And our fourth artifact is going to be located in the satellite dish. I don't remember what week it was, but the Blown Up Castle I was just talking about. There's a satellite station right behind that, and there was a there was an artifact located inside that satellite dish. The same thing here. Just go ahead and blow up the satellite dish, destroy it, and that way you can just take and fly right over it. And if, again, if I did not mention this, your seat has to come over the artifact, just like that. Take your seat over the artifact where you're physically going to touch the artifact, and you will pick it up, and you are good to go. And there's that one. So now we're going to move on to our fifth artifact. And this is at the diner. This is at the diner right by the bridge before you go into the corny complex. And straight ahead here. And this is physically at the diner, not the gas station, not the garage. You want to blow up the diner. Right here, what you're going to see me destroy. If you blow up this whole middle section, you can literally just glide right in and pick it up. You'll see me take some shots here in a second. So you just glide right in and pick it up. So 
I was just going to destroy this stuff and see how it takes some shots right there. So I'm going to come over here and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to get behind this building right here. And then um, literally I had somebody come right up behind me and just light, them up, light me up. I figured, okay, well, we'll just end that clip right there. And there you go, 20 alien artifacts. So now again, you know, this is week nine. Week nine times 25 will give you 180 alien artifacts. And again, that's if you have not used any. Now this is what I want to talk about, folks. If you go, and I'm going to create a video about this. If you go and you look at your alien artifact stuff that you can purchase, if you look at all, you got, I think it's eight lines of 45. 45 artifacts you need per line. That's 360 alien artifacts that you need. Well, you can only get 280 alien artifacts. Okay? So, if you're a solo player, they have really stuck it to you. You are not going to be able to unlock all your alien artifact rewards. It's impossible. So again, uh, this weekend I will work on a video. So make sure make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, select all that way you will know when that video will go live. I've already started recording a bunch of it, uh, so I just have to put it together and, and do the editing and, and the voiceover and stuff. But it's really unfair if you are a strictly a solo player um, because the way they have it set up t to collect these other alien artifacts you cannot collect them in solo mode it is virtually impossible and it's not virtually it is impossible you cannot do it and uh, it's it's really really unfair because there's a lot of people that do not play duos trios or squads and because of that um, they are losing out on rewards. They they did a I don't know what they was thinking. I really do not know what they was thinking when they set this system up. They uh, they set it up extremely wrong. Now talking about the video, here is the video. This is showing you all of the weeks. Um, let me see if this is yeah. This has all we all nine weeks on it. If you look over. At the MBG at the top of your screen, you'll see there is a week nine artifact. So all these artifacts is covered under one video, and you'll find that video in the description. And you see it says at the bottom of the screen towards the middle, alien artifact locations, all 45. So again, this video that I put together covers all of these. Now at one time, I just had the artifacts on here. But I went back and I took and I put numbers on every one of these artifacts. So now every time a new week comes out, I don't just put an artifact on the screen. That artifact will have a number. And I've actually already um, made the artifacts going all the way up to the end of the season. So my artifacts are already ready. All I have to do is just take and add them wherever they go. But um, let me make this point clear too. If you are still missing the artifact for week number three, that if you look up at Lockheed's Lighthouse, you'll see there's an artifact for week number six there at the top of your screen. If you're still missing that artifact, that artifact has finally been brought back into the game. It is not at Lockheed's Lighthouse. That number six was actually when they brought the replacement into the game, but that is not the replacement. If you look at where it says Holly Hedges on the map and look south of that, you'll see a number three. That is the Rainbow Houses. You go to the orange Rainbow House there and you will find your replacement artifact. That will bring you up to date. So if you are still missing that one artifact where that week three you only got four, that is where you need to go to bring you up to date so you're caught up to up to date. If you've gotten everything else but you're missing that one, that's where you have to go. That's the reason why that artifact has a three on it. There you go, folks. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Uh, I answer every question that I can. Um, I, read a, I read a comment. I always leave a heart on it. Not, not every comment needs a reply. But at least I will like and heart your comment so you know I read it. Uh, even if I don't like it, I will still like and heart your comment. That way you know I read it. But to show you how this map works, I have an alternate account set up. Because of the way that they are doing this 
these artifacts and the way that I think it's going to tick a lot of people off because a lot of people do not read the fine print. They do not read the fine print. And I want to show you how my map works. Take a look at this. See that on your screen here, folks? 148 alien artifacts. In one session, I used my map in my alternate account and went around and I collected 148 alien artifacts. So, again, you know, we're sitting on 180 right now, and this was before these 20, so we were sitting on 160, so I was only missing 12 out of the 180. So, out, you know, and you see, not also went up seven levels before from the time I started, went into a game before I backed out into the lobby. I advanced seven levels in the game, and I also went and I collected 148 alien artifacts by using my map knowing where the places are so my map does work none of the stuff on my map is bogus so again you can trust it I've seen people put stuff out there and it's like I don't understand why I, I don't understand why people put misleading stuff out there I really really do not if I ever upload a video and it has misleading stuff out on it and I under and I know it is or is something in the video is misleading, I'll pin a comment saying this information is wrong. Or if the whole video is misleading, I will remove the video. I will never have knowing misleading information on my channel because I make my videos to help the fellow gamer. I look at my stuff that, you know, I, I don't do this to make money, folks. I really don't. I've only got what 2600 subscribers it's like I don't stream video games so it's not like you know I try to I try to make a living off of this if I get a check from YouTube great I don't live off of a check from YouTube okay but you know I mean I I just don't I just do not get it if you're gonna put stuff out there do not lie to people if you tell the people the correct information, that's going to bring them back to your channel. If you put false information out there and you lie to them, they're never going to return to your channel. That's what boggles my mind, why people do that. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Um, I don't know what else I could say, but um, I think... A lot of people are going to be upset because I think a lot of people do not read the fine print and um, come the end of the season when season 8 starts there's going to be some people that's going to be very very mad because I have a feeling these artifacts are going to carry over to the next season um, but I will leave it I would just leave it there because it's just a shame. I hope they fix the situation where um, solo players will be able to benefit from getting the extra artifacts. You shouldn't have to be able to play duos, trios, and squads. And it, it's set up that way because you have these cosmetic chests. I'll say this much. You have these cosmetic chests. And in order to open them to get the extra artifacts, you have to take turns. So that's why one person can't do it. It's not like you can go into a um, a solos, uh, a um, duos, trios, or squads by yourself. You have to play as a team, and you can't go in with randoms because the chance of randoms going all to the, all to the same spot is very slim. So. You have to go in as a team, so if you're somebody that only plays solo, that means you're losing out on rewards. And Fortnite should never, never set up their game that way. Because you got, you know, let's face it, there's a lot of kids that play this game, and some parents may not allow their kids to play with other people. So you're, you are then taking rewards away from that kid that he he cannot earn because he's not allowed to play with other people just because of the way of the gaming environment is
I mean, it is what it is, folks. It is what it is. I mean, there was just a SWAT incident that took place. I stayed over from me um, last weekend where a 17-year-old kid got into it with somebody online and their house got swatted. And the person told him, I'm going to swat you. And sure enough, the boy's father went outside and the boy's father's father was on the ground with, with rifles pointed at him in handcuffs. And then the police called him out. You think I'm lying? Google it. You'll find out. It was uh, it was in Kentucky. It was state a state over from me. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. This is the bulldozer. Get your killing on. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. Here's some more videos you might be interested in. On the left hand side, my Fortnite playlist. On the right hand side, the previous video uploaded. Who knows what this could be? It could be dash cam footage. It could be something about on YouTube. It could be a number of things. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on. And I'm out of here.